14.9 switch pairs. You can see I already filled out some of it. Actually, all of it. This code works. But there's another way to do this code. And actually, I like this way a little bit better than what we have right here. So let's get rid of this because we're going to do it the way I like. If you want to see how I did that, it's in the previous video. It's in the playlist. Link below the like button. We want to write a method named switch pair that's going to take a stack of integers as parameter. And it's going to switch successive pairs of numbers starting from the bottom of our stack going all the way to the top if there's an odd number though that last one is not going to get switched so we did that code in the previous video and now we are going to do the same code but with a while loop instead of a for loop that's going to change things significantly because i am not going to reorder this originally in the previous one actually i'll put it back i reordered this before i did anything with this one, we will not be doing any reordering at all. Let me explain. So we know that we want to switch it based on these, right? Those, and then these two, and then next, these two, and so on and so forth. And if there's an odd one, that one doesn't get switched. Well, if we're popping off the stack, if this is odd, we can just put it at the bottom of our queue, right? And then when we're done, we are going to you know, have to rearrange this, of course, because if we just take from the queue and put it back into our stack, well, this is going to be reversed. But this 14, assuming it, it is odd, I think this one's odd, so this 42 would be left alone. So let's do that first. First, we need to check if it's an odd. If it is an odd, we're going to add it to our queue. Otherwise, we are going to, until our stack is empty, we're going to be switching these next pairs because we know they have to have uh, an even uh, counterpart. They have to have at least two of them. So we'll say if rs.size and we'll do modulus two, which means that if, or does not equal to zero. And this means that if we have a remainder, this means it's odd, we're gonna do q.add. So we're gonna add into our queue and s.pop. We are going to remove this negative one from our stack. Now, while our s well, our S is not empty, so that's why we have the not in front of here. We want to switch the two pairs, so let's make it two temporary values. We'll do T1 is equal to S.pop, and then we'll do T2, if I can get this right, is equal to S.pop as well. So this one, if we look at this first example, is going to store this 14, and this one's going to store this 4. We want to swap them now, so we're going to do a Q.add, where we add our T2, and we're going to q.add where we add our t1. So we're just swapping the two like this. And we're going to do this repeatedly. So now we have the top of our stack in the front of our queue. So we can add this back to our stack by just doing this. This while loop is going to do, we're pushing to our stack while our queue is not empty and we have a queue remove. But this is going to be in the opposite order, right? So now what we're going to have to do is push it back to our queue so that it's going to be in the correct order. That way, when we push it back to our stack, it is in the correct order. So it's a little bit confusing, but remember, when we push into our queue, we are going to have this in the reverse order. And then when we push to our stack, push it back to our stack, we still have this in reverse order. So before we can return, we need to switch this. So that's where we're going to add it back to our queue with this queue.add. And then we finish it off, pushing it back to our stack right here. So submitting this, I like this way a little bit easier again, but you can decide which works best for you. As long as you understand that that passes two out of two tests and that's how we would do 4.9 switch pairs.